What does the Bible say about visiting graves? The Bible does not specifically address the act of visiting graves in a direct and explicit manner. However, it does mention various instances where individuals visited the graves of deceased individuals or engaged in burial practices. Here are a few relevant passages. Abraham, in Genesis 23, 2, 4. Abraham mourns for his wife Sarah and seeks to purchase a burial site for her. He negotiates with the Hittites to acquire the cave of Machpelah as a burial place. Jacob, in Genesis 50, 5, 6, Jacob's sons after his death carry his body to the land of Canaan and bury him in the cave of Machpelah as he had instructed. Jesus, in John 11, 31, 38, Jesus visits the tomb of his friend Lazarus, who had passed away. He weeps and performs a miracle, raising Lazarus from the dead. These passages indicate that visiting graves was a customary practice in biblical times, and there is no explicit prohibition or endorsement of such visits. It is important to note that the Bible places greater emphasis on the spiritual realm and the hope of eternal life rather than the physical remains of the deceased. Christians today may choose to visit graves as a way to remember and honor their departed loved ones, seek solace, or find a sense of connection with the past. However, the Bible encourages believers to focus on the eternal significance of life and death, placing their hope in the resurrection and the life to come rather than excessive preoccupation with earthly remains, 1 Corinthians 15, 42, 44, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, 18. Ultimately, the decision to visit graves is a personal one and can vary among different individuals and cultural practices within the Christian faith.